of the most stunning events to mark Chinese New Year, a digital light show projected onto the rather grand University of Nottingham's Trent building next to the lake. It's part of a month of Chinese cultural events put on by Nottingham Lakeside Arts. Local artist Barrett Hodgson created the show. Technically, it was quite a challenge. What we did differently this time is working directly with the geography department of the university to make a scan of the building. So we did a digital scan and then we can use that scan to both work on the projection side of it but also the content itself. As part of his commission, he was able to include really traditional elements of Chinese culture, but also contemporary elements. And I think he's achieved that amazingly well. In Leicester, artist Si Yuan Ren has been commissioned to paint a tiger mural for the John Lewis store. You can see Si Yuan at work all week as she puts the finishing touches to her painting. Tiger in the Chinese zodiac represents the honor bravery and also defeating the evil spirit. So um, I created this composition with the tiger in the center, which is the king of the forest, and also peonies and also the crane. All together, it represents long life, prosperity, and bravery, defeating evil spirit. Like our own zodiac system, there are 12 Chinese birth symbols and they all come with their own stories and lucky colours. The colour is red, obviously, uh, and I'm wearing red. Red is also a defeating uh, evil spirit. That brings luck. And if you don't know which Chinese animal year you are, it's easy to look up and fun to know. Rachel Royce, BBC East Midlands Today, Leicester. Well, we had to do it, didn't we? I mean, the tiger was magnificent, but rather disappointingly, I'm a rat. However, <laughs> that does mean optimism and energy. <laughs> hey, what about you? Fantastic. Well, I'm a monkey, so I think between us, we've kind of covered you the comical that means, ones. Though, intelligent on. and witty. Ah, well, there you okay. go. Perfect. And apparently, I'm a gold monkey as well. Ah. Yeah. Lucky could have been worse. Could have been, worse. <laughs> could have been a pig, really. <laughs> but, but yeah, moving on. Um, the weather has been a little bit blustery, a little bit breezy today, hasn't it? But we have seen more sunshine than we were going for, actually, which is always a bit of a brucey bonus, isn't it? Um, yeah, so the clouds have been scudding across the sky. We've had some chinks of blue sky today. And uh, yeah, it's been feeling a bit like spring, actually. The flowers are starting to come back to life. And we've had a bit of spring-like warmth as well. Temperatures today reached 13 degrees which is more like the average for mid April and we're going to keep that warmth actually going for the next couple of days we've got a weather front that's going to cross us through tonight bringing a little bit of rain and perhaps a bit more cloud but it is keeping this milder flow going off the Atlantic so we are going to keep that mild theme going for the next couple of days or so and you can see the winds are easing down as well so looking pretty quiet actually um, over the next couple of days we are seeing um, a little bit of cloud pushing in though later on tonight and as I say there will be a few spots of rain as that weather front pushes its way through but it clears away so by the end of the night, we're dry once again, but really mild tonight, a minimum temperature of 7 or 8 Celsius. So tomorrow morning, we'll start off with a bit of sunshine, a little bit of blue sky once again. We will see that cloud increasing as we uh, go through the day. So clouding over into the afternoon, most of us staying dry, perhaps a little bit of drizzle across the hills, but generally a dry day. And yes, we're still seeing those temperatures into double figures at around 11 or 12 degrees. And then it's the same again on Thursday. We start off dry, there will be some sunshine around through Thursday, perhaps a bit more sunshine, so a few more breaks in that cloud through Thursday, and we will stay dry throughout the day as well. Those temperatures again back up to around 11 or 12 degrees, but it is all change again Thursday night and into Friday. We've got this weather front pushing its way southwards. That will bring a bit of rain on Thursday night, but you can see it's also bringing in that colder air back as well, so temperatures by Friday. Lots of sunshine, I have to say, but yeah, more like where they should be for this time of year at around 7 degrees. Thank you very much. Elise will be back with the late news. Join her if you can. Whatever you're doing this evening, have a good one. See you tomorrow.